Good evening friends. Welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for the week and for tomorrow. So this is uh, Nifty. If you remember, uh, I had made this Elliott wave on Nifty. Uh, so this will help us to understand the uh, longer uh, time frame understanding. So uh, like we discussed earlier, uh, let me just reiterate that once again. So this is the Elliott uh, impulsive wave, the wave one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, we were in the corrective wave phase. Okay, and I had informed earlier that this particular corrective wave, the A, B, and C, the C wave uh, has a target of fourteen thousand three hundred and sixty-six. Okay, so we were expecting a correction until this place. Uh, but the market uh, seems to be bullish. So the discussion here is, uh, will it not come back to this level or is it just going to break this level and go higher? Okay. So this is what the discussion is for today. So, uh, so let's quickly jump into it. So first of all, uh, you know, I always speak about data points. So data points, when I say it is about FII's positions, okay? So we have seen that FIIs have been, uh, you know, buying in the last one week in the cash market, which is a good sign. But this is something which I'm not really uh, happy about, okay, for the bull run. Why I'm not really happy? One of the major reason is whenever we have seen FIIs cash buying in the past, what they usually do is they buy in the cash and they are bearish in the stock futures. Okay, so why do they uh, do something like this? A lot of people believe that that's hedging, but it's not hedging. This is basically to keep the market in a range or maybe something like this. So, FIs are people who accumulate positions, okay? They just don't buy for 10 days and then keep on selling for, the for another 10 days. They don't do this in the cash market, okay? So, whenever they have to give a breakout or whenever they have to, you know, keep the market on the bull side for a long run, like, uh, you know, in this case, when they were bringing the market down, they were continuously selling right from october 2021 we have seen them selling relentlessly until july 2021 so august month is where uh, they started buying and the month of july the selling was reduced but this buying can only take the market up for some time and again they'll start selling because if they have to hold their positions for a longer time they need to keep the market in a range where VIX is also reduced to about 13 to 16. It stays in that region for a longer period, maybe for three, four months. And that's when they accumulate their positions and then the market gives a breakout and that rally sustains for a longer time. Okay, and that rally can even sustain for more than a year or so. But in this case, uh, we aren't seeing anything like that. FIs are just continuously buying and they're also bullish in the index futures and the market is going up. But such market can reverse any time, okay? So, the discussion here is, uh, if people know Elliott Wave Theory, or people who do not know Elliott Wave Theory also, there is a term called expanded flat. So, what does that mean? So, even in a uh, impulsive wave, you know, we can see a dip, uh, you know, like in the fourth wave, we can see the dip coming down to this level also. So this is known as an expanded flat. And in the same way, uh, right now, this is the corrective wave, okay? So in the corrective wave, what's happening at the moment? Market is taking a pullback. So this is a pullback in the corrective wave. And this pullback can even surpass the all-time high of Nifty, which is around 18,600. So even it can surpass that and then afterwards it can start coming down. But this level is definitely going to be achieved sooner or later. Okay, So we need to keep this in mind. So whatever investments that we do 
or whatever uh, you know the short term investment that we do we definitely have to book it on a regular basis so what are the levels where we book them so right now we'll wait for it to you know cross 17600 so before crossing 17600 we may see a dip and then it may again give a breakout of this trend line again and then it may go higher so i still hold my position but i definitely would love to exit my positions because i know this level is going to come soon so i may look to reinvest again okay and another uh, coinciding factor here is see now there is nothing uh, in the market or in global that the market has to be higher 2024 we have our elections in our country so i believe that before that elections market will come up higher and for that we still have about a couple of years and because of one of that reason i'm still expecting that uh, you know before the elections we may test the level of 14300 and then the rally that comes uh, before the breakout of you know or before the elections uh, then they'll show a knee jerk reaction here and there and then the trend would continue uh, which may sustain for another uh, three to four years so that's what my expectation is which i want to share okay so as i mentioned this particular pullback is basically the expanded flat and uh, not confirmed yet for that it has to cross the level of uh, the wave b okay so once it closes above this so it is somewhere around 18 150 then we can expect that yes it is making an expanded flat and then it may reverse and slowly and steadily it may start coming down to the wave c so this is my view on nifty and not discussing bank nifty because obviously when nifty has to fall back to 14 300 bank nifty also has to come back uh, to a level of uh, 30 000 which we discussed already earlier so now we'll quickly uh, we'll check what are we going to do in the current week uh, i'm just removing this if we go to our weekly chart uh, so definitely nifty looks bullish here and a superb rally you know a continuous rally and a formation of trend line is visible here and we have a target somewhere here which is around 17600 to 17700 so like we discussed earlier like every time we hit this resistance we have seen a steep correction and hence i'm expecting that even this time we can see a correction here and that correction can up, come up to 16800 in case if there is any further dip uh, if you look at this level 16824 so this is the level that i'm expecting uh, it can come up to that level and the next level immediate is 16567 so we can expect a dip until this place and then again it will go and approach this particular trend line if it doesn't have to fall back and if it has, it has to break this particular trend line then it will just give a breakout like this okay and what is uh, very important here is a lot of people always think that you know market would just clear this level like this but that doesn't happen because imagine that we are coming from a very low level and there is continuous uh, you know money that is pumped in to reach at this level so any uh, you know bad news or any uh, any other resistance if market takes like this is going to be definitely a strong resistance around 18150 so the market can sharply reverse okay so we must keep this thing in mind because we are coming from a very long distance so almost from 15200 we have come up to 17400 so this is a fantastic 2200 points rally and in fact we touched 17500 also so almost 2300 points rally so we may attempt another 400 500 points if uh, you know fis can give that push like what they are doing at the moment so this is how our weekly chart looks like and 
on a daily chart uh, what we can actually do is you can draw a couple of trend lines which might help you to secure your targets so there is a trend line here and there is another trend line which forms from here this is a steep trend line let's just keep it until this place so what nifty will eventually do is uh, you know it will come to test this particular trend line once and then it may again give a bounce here so this is our ultimate target around 17600 or it may directly attempt it also so this dip can be uh, a great method to attempt this trend line and then we may break down this trend line and come back and take support here and then start formation of higher high and break out of this trend line and we can go further so this is how the pattern that i'm expecting at the moment from nifty and bank nifty is also having a similar uh, couple of trend lines one which is a decent trend line another one is a very steep trend line so that steep trend line can be broken anytime so be vigilant on that too so this is uh, my view on nifty and not wasting time on bank nifty because both are having similar chart patterns and let's quickly discuss the data first and then we'll move on to our uh, intraday analysis on a shorter time frame so fi has uh, created long positions in future and they have closed some of the short positions a very little quantity but uh, this needs to be considered because this is a significant number at you know at a high point so bank nifty nifty both are trading so nifty trading near 17400 and bank nifty trading uh, around 38000 so if you uh, look at the charts for the past one week they have been trying to close above this level but uh, the short sellers are not allowing to and uh, at this area we have seen increase in the future long position so this is something very significant so we need to be careful also uh, before we think of taking any short trades here and if you look at the options uh, they hardly have any call shots but they have some put shots which indicates that uh, so the reason for short trades from both fis and pros are uh, you know the vix and the iv increased uh, before the rbi monetary policy and this was a very good chance or an attempt to eat the premiums and we did not see any significant move uh, during the rbi monetary policy and you know over a so they also carry forward some positions during the weekend because monday if the market opens with a slight gap down or a gap up or flat obviously the premiums are going to decrease and the put side premiums were uh, significantly higher than the call side premiums so a lot of people you know especially fis when they are bullish in the market for some time uh, you know they were trying to be on the or short the premiums which are higher and that's what they have done here and if you look at uh, pros they have call shots as well as put shots but the call shots are slightly higher so tomorrow when the market opens uh, pros will always have a fear that fis do not hold a significant short positions in the call side hence they'll have a fear on the upside and they'll try to escape from the call shots that they have so if that happens then we may see some short covering on the upside and the market may rally further now we'll get back to our charts and understand uh, how do we trade tomorrow so what did we get to know from the data fis are bullish but they have put shots that means uh, market definitely has support and this means that any dip can turn to be a buying opportunity and if you look at 
prose they are bearish expecting bearish to sideways so this is their position that they have carried during the weekend and pros have a fear of you know covering their call shots so when will they cover their call shots obviously if market gives a dip or if it opens gap down and comes down a little uh, we'll discuss the important levels so those places they'll try to book their call shots and then they'll you know that money they'll reverse it off and start buying call options and they already have put shots and we may see some significant put writing so anything that you need to watch on the option chain tomorrow that would be to focus on put writing uh, and i'll give you a hint whenever you see put writing you need to see that at least three to four strikes there is aggressive put writing and another point is when you see big players you know selling puts to take the market higher what they do is uh, the change in open interest if people look at the recorded data like uh, you know people record data right for they look at every five minutes data how it's happening so on a monday something like that you will see an increase of 50000 contracts as coi very fast okay so 50000 then you will see 55000 in another 5 minutes then you will see another 50000 in 5 minutes so this is how it will increase if the market has to go high so keep a watch on the option chain also which may give you confidence in trading the upside because since market looks overstretched we'll always have a fear you know trading the upside so these things can be helpful to stay alert so now let's move back to a smaller time frame and we'll discuss nifty and then bank nifty to understand what we need to do so on a daily chart uh, we know that nifty and bank nifty has made an inside candle because previously this was our high and this was our low and nifty is trading just around this point okay so when we know that fis and pros they have put uh, shorts they are still holding so that means the put shot could be somewhere around this place okay and pros have call shot means they have somewhere around this place okay so this becomes an important area and we need to watch out for a breakout okay so let's uh, i do not have my support and resistances drawn here so we'll draw that too Seventeen four hundred and sixty-two. Okay, this is our resistance for us, and there is another weekly resistance at seventeen four ninety. So, if at all, like, uh, and we also, so if at all, market, you know, tries to breach this place, uh. We can definitely enter into a call. This resistance will not be that significant that it will just push the market down. But if this high is broken, we may attempt this and then we may give a breakout and we may try to attempt 17600, which is our trend line on a weekly time frame. Okay, so this is basically we are trading the inside candle breakout or breakdown. So this is where we'll go for the call buy. The problem here in Nifty is Nifty has closed at a lower level. Okay. So in case of a gap down, so we know that FIs and pros both have uh, put shots. So that means there is support which is created by them. So breaking down of that support, you know, will induce more fall because they'll have to 
start covering their positions. So at that time, uh, we'll look at call shots in the option chain. Like I mentioned for put shots. So every five minutes, you will see a change of more than 50,000 contracts uh, as a change in open interest. So if you see anything like that, that means the market is trying to go down and to support their put shots, uh, we will understand that the big players are selling calls heavily. So you need to keep that in mind. So what is the lower level? So basically we see a closing somewhere here, 17,360. Okay, so below 17,360, we'll buy put. Our first target would be around this swing, which is 17,280. And then we may see another continuation to 17,240. Okay, so we'll just mark those levels also in the chart. So this is going to be my support. So once it gets breached, then we can look at for the fall. 17 to 80. And then this is a horizontal support, which has been tested. So we can expect to fall until 17 to 40. So let me just delete my drawings. So these are the levels. So on the upside, we are definitely going to buy call. Uh, wait for a like you know a fifteen minutes candle to close above this level, and then we'll trade uh, once it continues the rally further. And on the downside again, this is a place when the first fifteen minutes candle closes then we may get a confirmation on the downside. So now let's discuss about gap up and gap down. So in case if we open with a gap up around 17,440 and if we get a dip here and then before 10,30 if it is you know breaking the day high, you can consider entering here also. You will get a very small stop loss. You just have to keep another 10, 20 point SL and wait for the breakout of this level and there is a possibility the market may continue upside okay and this might be a slow momentum because since the put side premiums are higher obviously it takes time for the people to you know start selling puts and take the market higher and in case of a gap down so if market opens gap down uh, we don't want nifty to go beyond this level so what is that level 17,415, okay? So if Nifty opens gap down, because SGX Nifty is already indicating a 70, 80 point gap down. So if we open somewhere here, we'll wait for it to go up. And then if it is breaking the day low before 10.30, obviously we'll enter into the put side. You know, some traders can try entering into a put here also. And then you, this is going to be a stop loss. And... You can trail your stop loss to cost or maybe some trailing profit and then we'll wait for this to break out and then it may come down slowly and gradually. Okay, so keep this in mind. So a gap down will definitely induce some fear. So we need to keep that in mind. If market is crossing this high, that means it is going for the FIIs because they have put shots and not the call shots. So here we'll not buy anything but we'll wait for here for the market to sustain and give a breakout on the upside and then only we'll go and buy call okay so keep that in mind because uh, this upside even fis can use it for their call shots or their uh, future longs that they have made they'll try to exit their positions because if the market is opening against their view obviously they are also cautious and they may try to adjust their positions too. So this is my view on Nifty. Let's quickly discuss Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty, uh, you can actually draw a trend line here, starting from this high to this high. 
okay so imagine that uh, bank nifty whenever if it is crossing this particular trend line okay so you can go long here and you can expect a target of 38 350 and 38 500 to 600 immediately and we are entering a little earlier than the inside candle high because this trend line if it breaks it will definitely even break out this high it will not wait for it because i think probably we have call shots from the pros they'll obviously start covering their positions so market is definitely going to move higher okay so we discussed flat opening and then where we have to buy and in nifty we have to wait for a longer time to buy call but in bank nifty it is not like that so just a 100 150 point move can give a breakout of this trend line and we'll go and buy call and in case bank nifty opens gap down and it you know goes up and retraces from 38000 you can definitely buy a put uh, the trend will continue once we have the day low breakdown and then we may go and test 37 600 37 550 this area so that should be a target for bank nifty on the downside and on the upside also we have discussed what should be the target just in case if uh, you know things changes in the morning and market opens with a gap up say it is opening around uh, this level uh, around 38,080 so we'll wait for the, a dip and if the day high is crossed before 1030 we'll definitely buy a call and the targets are same 38,350 and 500 okay so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow i hope you all enjoyed it and also understood what uh, the longer time forecast that we have we are still in a corrective phase and the market can definitely come back to 14300 a lot of people will not tell you this but market definitely follows elliott wave theory on a higher time frame okay so i'm 100 percent expecting it to follow the elliott wave theory so we may see an expanded flat uh, you may research on that and definitely the market has to come down to 14300 level uh, before it comes back higher uh, before the elections thank you for watching my video uh, i'm also going to upload uh, simultaneously the video on the uh, volume based analysis uh, for the part two and three today so stay tuned let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye